Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Demonologist. It's been quite a while since we played this game, uh, but they recently did a massive new update, which has added a new map. And if you know anything about this game, you know that the maps are second to none. This game has the most interesting maps out of all of the ghost hunting games, because every single map is uh, has a bunch of secrets on it that you have to discover. So playing for the first time on any of these maps is super fun, because there's a lot of secrets and little things to find. Uh, you can interact with these maps using your voice and uh, you can like create different passageways for different jump scares and it's just a ton of fun to check it out for the first time so that's what we're gonna do today i hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it but let's not waste any more time and let's go to bedlam let's go oh boy here we go so i'm assuming it's an asylum but i'm not entirely sure damn that looks awesome <laughs> that is the map right there uh, now they've also added a bunch of new items I just saw. However, I didn't have any money to buy them except the sledgehammer, which I have no idea what we're gonna do with the sledgehammer. Maybe we're gonna attack the ghost. I think I'm gonna leave it on the ground for now. Uh, maybe we can like break walls or something. Obviously, we need a flashlight. I think, um, I don't think we need to start with a crucifix, but we'll grab an EMF and a thermo. And I think that's all you can carry. You can only carry. Yeah, you can carry three items. All right, what do we got to do? We need to detect the ghost, and then did they add any new exorcism stuff? Find the missing puzzle piece. Interesting. Uh, solve the puzzle near the cells and place the missing piece. Reach the room where the ghost died. Interesting. There's also salt that has been added, which the salt costs $3,000. So I don't know how the fuck where they're getting their salt. The sledge is only for Cyclone Street. Oh, let me guess. It's to break open the wall that leads to the basement. That's interesting. All right, we'll check that out as well. We're just going to play a bunch. Uh, there's a key. We need to actually collect keys now. What is this? Devour? Um, creepy in here. Now, hopefully, we're not going to meet. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, dude. Are you okay? And that's, that's creepy. It's for the Maria room? No way. Can we finally get into the Maria room? Uh, I don't know what they did in this place, but this looks a little messed up. There's blo blood all over the place. Also, there's some nice pixels on this wall. <laughs> um, what the hell were they doing in here? Look at that chair. That's messed up. This is a good looking map. I know this texture or I know this asset that they're using here. And they did a great job making this look way better than it usually does. Because I've seen this particular uh, uh, insane asylum looking looking ass. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> I've seen this asset in several games and it always looks very, I don't know, very plasticky. But they've made it look pretty, pretty nice. Is there a limit to the amount of lights you can turn on? I don't know. I forgot. I think there is. That's a bunch of chemistry mumbo jumbo. I was never good at this stuff. I was never good at drawing up those things. Confidential again, but no information. Like nothing to, nothing to say out loud. Or maybe confidential. I doubt it. This was like one of the most hyped ghost hunting games when it came out. And a lot of people checked it out. I haven't really heard much about it since. What is that? Uh-huh. There we go. That's a secret. Do I need the sledgehammer for this? Or do I need the bolt cutters or something? What's that? Or designed? No, deigned. God deigned us a gift. Maybe I gotta type it. God deigned us a gift. I think I need to get into this room first. No, it's not designed, it's deigned, guys. Unless it's supposed to say designed, but then the S is missing. And then there's something in... It looks like a Fulu. It looks like an item in there. You can find bolt cutters in the map. Wait, that's cool. I like how they make each map unique. What the hell is going on here? That looks like significant, but I, I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, R-X-E? I don't know. Anyway. One of these guys got to be Oppenheimer, of course. Oh, hi. There we go. Okay, so that's the... That's the voodoo doll. We could use this, but it's also going to trigger a hunt. So probably not a good idea. It works the exact same way as the voodoo doll in Phasmo, where if you use it, it triggers uh, an action of the ghost. But with a small, like one of the pins will be the 
uh, will trigger a hunt. So you don't want to do that. Oh, what's this? Wait, what? Excuse me. What am I looking at? It's some kind of pattern. There's like a... Is this like a... Oh, it's going to be a path through like a... Like a scary room or something. It's bingo. Demon bingo. I can't do anything with it, though. I can only move my flashlight around. Okay. But we'll have to keep the... Oh, no, here. It's right here. Uh, let's see. Can I interact with this? Do I gotta place the blocks? How do I... How do I do this? Maybe I gotta drop this and then pick up these. What? Oh. What? <laughs> I opened the tiny door? That's for the... Ac Oh, this is for the exorcism at the end. I see. Okay, well, that's confusing. All right, that's interesting. I don't know what's with the tiny door, but maybe we'll we'll figure that out in a, when we get to it. We haven't even found the ghost yet. Oh, baby, we can go into the basement. What is this? A hospital for ants? Any Zoolander fans in the chat? It's interesting that they literally cast the guy from Zoolander for the exact same role in Barbie. He's like literally playing as the same character. What the hell? Uh, this this is Lisa's room, guys. I think she stayed here a bit longer than in Sunny Meadows, though. Holy fuck. <laughs> how do you even get up there? How do you even get up there to notch it? That's kind of impressive. And how did you notch the steel or the, the iron? I, I don't believe you. This is a creepy basement, that's for sure. None of these doors actually open. Oh, was this? There's text on the... The ghost set up a mechanism so that no one would approach the room where his body was. And even if they did, he would notice it. You cannot easily enter this room. First, you will need you will have to solve the contraption. If you do not thread on the correct pieces, the ghost will realize the danger and kill you immediately. However, that is not as easy as you think. I, I didn't think it was easy in the first place, but okay. The entrance to this room is from the room directly opposite the canteen. The contraption constantly changes, and the changes progress over time. The contraption works as if the clock is between one and three pa- Oh my god, what the f- <sighs> Jesus Christ, pattern B, this is fucked. What is this freaking- <laughs> I left a picture of pattern A besides this note to help you. This contraption is always working and there's no way to stop it, no matter what. So you have to be very careful. We were able to solve this system. Even one of us dared to cross, but she did, could not return. And we would never dare. We left a small miniature of the room at the entrance to help you. I hope someone will come and achieve what we couldn't. You have to be careful. The slightest mistake will result in your death. Haler. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Is this, this is just a simple puzzle, right? Can I not just, I can't, inter, if I interact with this puzzle, I fucking die. Is that what's going on? All right. Well, this is one of, I hate these type of puzzles, by the way. This puzzle is safe. I don't think I can do this yet because we haven't even figured out what the ghost is, but we're definitely going to be coming back here in uh, like once we figured out what ghost we're dealing with. There's a little building, a little building next to this. Is there going to be... A bolt cutter in here. Let's go. Okay, bolt cutters. Now we can get into the canteen. Now, what is this? This is just... I can't can't do anything with this. Interesting. Okay, well, now we got the bolt cutters. Now I want to check out what's behind the secret door. X will not catch on yet. Go figure. Sp spending, like, countless of money and time and effort on making Twitter and tweeting a thing and then throwing it all straight into the dumpster trying to make Xing a thing it's not gonna work what a surprise okay anyway um so god deigned us a gift and now we can go in here what did he deign us he gave us a fulu okay I see so if you get the bolt cutters you can then open this door which will then give you one of these, which is like, uh, I don't even know if this does anything. I'm just gonna light it. I think it makes the ghost more active, but you might have to use it close to the ghost. So I may have just wasted that, but we already got three of those in the truck anyway. So it's fine. So it gives you a random item. That's cool though. I like that. Oh, wait a minute. It's here. It's in this room. Aha. Maybe. And that would also make so much sense because this is the room. That right there is the room where we got jump scared in the very beginning. 
the fuck is going on? Definitely something happening. Yep, EMF3. Okay, I'm gonna leave my shit here and run the hell out of here. But why is there no... It's not cold here at all. Maybe it's in the hallway. Anyway, run. I can... Hello? Okay, we're close to the ghost now. We found it. Oh, it's touching stuff. I swear it's gotta be in this room. It's like non-stop touching stuff here. But it's not cold here at all, but that might be because they nerfed the thermo. I'm not entirely sure. Wait, I haven't even been in this room. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, so <laughs> I see. So they still haven't fixed the issue. I don't know if it's even an issue, but it, it feels like a bug uh, because most ghost hunting games don't do this. But if you have a ghost room, directly below that ghost room will also be a ton of activity. So we are actually, we were completely in the wrong room. The room above it was the ghost room. Okay, so now we have to bring everything over here. Alrighty, here we go. I should have everything now. Let's drop it all. Pick up the flashlight again. Flashlight and a crucifix. All right. Let's see, you got any fingerprints over here? Cause now we're finally in the ghost room. I mean, it might have to touch something more. We also got to hold on to our crucifix because the ghost might kill us any moment. So it's not freezing. I think, well, pretty close. <laughs> what the fuck, brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy shit, that bed just went to the ceiling. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. I see. I see, Mr. Ghost. Gee, Christmas. You're a piece of shit. Oh, there we go. We got ectoplasm. Finally, our first evidence. Goodness gracious. I was like, I was thinking we were never going to get a thing. Uh, can we turn on the hallway light as well? Hopefully this lights up the hallway. There. Okay, what do we have? We have... Uh, there's a note section. Wait, what's this? Oh, you can check the objectives now. Interesting. So you can see the thing that we read and you don't have to like keep going back to it. That's nice. Uh, okay, but regardless, evidence. We have ectoplasm stains. All right, our first evidence. It can be done. And then we should use the spirit box. Oh, that's the sound I kept hearing. EMA 4? Damn. Dude, when you get close to the ghost, you'll know it. <laughs> the ghost goes crazy. Um, well, that should be amazing for getting fingerprints, potentially. No fingerprints. All right, well, with that, I think we can for sure rule out... It keeps turning on the lights. We can for sure rule out fingerprints. Uh, are you trying to lock me out? We'll, we'll look at the riddle in a second. Uh, uh oh, I'm scared. I'm just really focused on the evidence right now. Where, where are you? Are you here? I would say it's not EMF. Oh, there we go. We got EMF or we get spirit box. Nice. Okay, spirit box, spirit box, run, run. What the fuck was that? Okay, spirit box, let's go. We're doing it. Shade my linguipo. Guipo? Was that a ESG? I think that was ESG, yeah. Okay, so we got a Guipo here. Nice. Uh, that was the sound of ESG. We didn't actually see it, but nice. Okay, good stuff. So we've done everything when it comes to the ghost hunting part. Good stuff. We figured out what ghost it is. Now, we have to do objectives. Let's see. Find the missing puzzle piece, solve the puzzle near the cells, and place the missing piece. Reach the room where the ghost died. So uh, you can, can you do any of this without the pocket watch? Like obviously we could leave real quick and get the pocket watch and then come back, but I had no idea. Uh, you can do the first two. Okay, let's do the first one then. Uh, although we're probably gonna die. Let, you know what? Let's quickly get the pocket watch and then we'll we'll come back. Cause we solved, the, we solved the mission. We figured out the ghost. We didn't find any massive secrets though, but I'm gonna assume that's because I haven't looked hard enough because otherwise it will be a little disappointing. But we're going to come back here immediately. So I'm guessing that the way they nerf the uh, the thermo is that it takes a while for it to show up. But someone said upstairs bathroom is a... Ah! 
What the fuck? I'm just chilling, brother. Okay, well, it may be in the same area or it just decided to give me a heart attack for no reason. What the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, it's th it threw this again. Oh, what the hell? Holy smokes, man. What the fuck? All right, well, it's either here or it's actually so rude. What the fuck? We got an Ouija board right here, but I don't want to use that because it's killed me literally every time. Let's check if it's right above this. Okay, it's going crazy. And it's cold in this room. Okay, we it's literally... It's literally in the room we thought it was in last time. What the fuck? Okay, so now it's in this room. Damn, dude, this is cool. <laughs> What the fuck is happening? EMF5? EMF5. I heard EMF5. Yes. Okay, here we go. What the fuck? <laughs> Everything is going crazy. But we got EMF5, and I need to get the fuck out of here because I am going to die. Rod. <laughs> we need the pocket. I have the pocket watch, right? Wait, where is the pocket watch? There it is. Okay, we're going to need that later. What does it do, though? Oh, you need the pocket watch to do that whole puzzle with the time. I see. Why does it move so weird? <laughs> Wait, why does the minute and the second hand move at the same time? <laughs> Wait, why is the minute hand the second hand? This is weird. All right, anyway. Okay, we're going to grab that later. Uh, now we just need to bring over more evidence items. Oh my God, what the hell? That was sick. That was sick. You sick freak. Oh boy. Okay, it's freezing. It's freezing. Place the shit. Uh, I have a crucifix as well. Because I do not want to die. Where's my flashlight? There it is. Okay. Good stuff. Let's fill that in. While having out the crucifix. Wait, where did my crucifix go? Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, we got freezing temperatures. What are we looking for? It's a Jin Oni Mare or an Abaddon. I remember the Abaddon is insanely uh, easy. Because if you have a crucifix, it doesn't kill you at all. Um... It's ESG! Let's go! That's what ESG looks like. Okay, so it's a gin. Well, this is the easiest game of my life. <laughs> what the hell? All right, so that is the little T pose above this machine is what ESG is. I don't know why it's so strange. But there you go. Okay, so we got a gin. What does the gin do? Gins are known to be ex to be more active than other ghosts. It has been observed that they are more active if someone is nearby because it is very active. It is prone to hunting because it is very active. It reveals itself quickly. Well, it definitely did its weakness. Damn, that's cool. Okay, so we are good with that. Now we can actually do the secondary objective then. So let's get the hell out of here and grab the pocket watch and then figure out what we got to do. We have to find a puzzle piece and all that stuff. Oh, what the fuck? Hello there. <laughs> I was just looking around for the puzzle piece, my friend. Painting looks like the puzzle downstairs. Okay, I see. That is, that's fine. <laughs> well, okay, hello there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're still just looking. Hi. <laughs> Did she just get slapped on the ass? What was that? <laughs> the fuck? What the fuck, man? Like I've been... Oh, there it is! Holy... Okay, you're looking for this painting. Goodness gracious. It can be anywhere in the entire place. So it's basically like looking for the bone in Phasmo. But it's a required game mechanic, which I don't know why that is in this game. Because it's like the most boring shit of all time. But okay, we found it. Now we gotta go to the basement. Okay, so now we're in the basement and we have a puzzle piece. We put it in. Okay, I'm assuming this won't kill me. Otherwise, I'm going to become the Joker. Space bar. Oh, okay. Space bar. I see. Um, oh, boy. I hate these puzzles. I hate these puzzles. And then I got to somehow rotate these in circles. This one can be here. And then boom... Yes, wait a minute. He's doing it. He's beginning to believe. He's beginning to believe! Woo! All right, Jesus Christ. What a shit puzzle. <laughs> okay, they've literally made my least favorite type of puzzle 
into the, a video game. <laughs> Please, never, never again. This is going to be the only time I'll ever play on this map. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. So yeah, we did the puzzle and we got a key, which that key will now probably be for the next part of the puzzle upstairs that we found previously. Yeah, what's up next? The Rubik's Cube? They're gonna make you solve a Rubik's Cube before you can get the ghost? Okay, all right. So it's the exact same setup here. We have uh, this pattern, but now what do I have to do? So I have, a, I have a pocket watch. I can open this door here and I can open this door here, aha. I see. So there you go. But don't do it yet because we need so because we have that key, we can now open this door and then we have to do this. What is with this? Holy shit. The contraption works as if. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's see. Uh, God, I hate it here. I need to turn on the light in this room real quick. OK, well, never mind. I'm not turning on the light. So we have a pocket watch. It is between, well, it's now between three and six, but it's going to be, be between six and nine really soon. So let's see. Uh, what do we do with that? Between, oh, wait, between five and eight. Okay. The clock is between five and eight pattern C. So I need to do pattern C. 180 degree rotation of pattern B. <laughs> what is this garbage, dude? This is actually so stupid. <laughs> This is like, if you made a parody for like a puzzle game, this is what that feels like. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so pattern C is the 180 degree rotation of pattern B. Pattern B is the mirror image of pattern A, which I'm assuming pattern A is this thing. So this is pattern A. So the mirror rotation of pattern A, I get it. And then we need to do a what now we need to and then also the time is constantly changing so we'll have to like update yeah it's if we don't solve it within like 60 seconds we're gonna have to do a different one let's just go for the next one like let's go for between eight and next because we're not gonna reach this in time so between eight and ten we need to do pattern d what is pattern d pattern d is the 180 degree rotation of the mirror image of pattern B and pattern B is the mirror image of pattern A Which means it's just the uh, why why did you include this unnecessarily complicated information? It's literally just the 180 degree rotation of pattern A because it's just a double mirror which un undoes the mirroring Okay, so 180 degree rotation 90 degree 180 de I'm assuming it's clockwise. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because it's 180 degrees anyway um, Okay, so 180 degrees so it is upside down it's upside down so we need to go from this side like this okay so we are gonna walk like this what what am i not supposed to am i supposed to walk why is it not doing anything okay i've done it He's done it. He's insane with it. Now what? Um. What? I've done another mission. What is this? Sit in the chair. What do I got to do now? I have to find. What? What now? <laughs> oh God. I think I'm stuck here. I can't go back because this fucking trap thing keeps changing. It was supposed to be over when I got into this room, but the ghost. Oh God, I'm being killed. But the ghost had corrupted the entire system to protect itself. It seems like the ghost has removed the fuses and severed the wires to cut off the electricity. That's why I should have brought two fuses and an electrical tape with me before I got here. Damn, these were in the hospital. I saw them. I don't know how long I've been here or how many days have passed. I've had a long, lot of time to think. Thinking about the deaths that happened before most of them were with the scalpel. What? Thinking about the deaths that happened before, most of them were with a scalpel. I think the object the ghost is bound to is the scalpel. The ghost spotted me. I'm sure it's playing with my mind, trying to weaken me. I don't have much time left. I feel it. I will write down what I have solved during this time on this paper. Whoever goes here may solve the trap system and return. Won't waste time here. 
Find two fuses inside the hospital, put them in the fuse boxes, then fix the broken wires with the electrical tape and place the scalpel on the... What is this? And place the scalpel on the chair. Lastly, there's a lever on the wall that activates this electrical system. Pull it. This is a this is a fucking parody. <laughs> like, what the hell? This is like I, I want way rather have more like fun puzzles where you can like say a text on the wall and you get a jump scare than all of this garbage. What the hell? Especially because you're gonna have to do this every single time you want to play this map. Alright, well, anyway. So we're gonna have to find two fuses and a scalpel. Alright. In random fuse box. Ah, what the fuck? Oh God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna perish. I'm gonna perish. Run, 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 run. Okay. Ah, he's still coming. Run. He's coming. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is this is a disaster because that means n from this moment onwards I'm gonna be perma hunted, which is so fucked because I haven't f I've only found the tape, I have only found the tape. Are you serious? Can I leave? I can leave. Okay. So what? So the fuses are in the fuse boxes. I've checked three different fuse boxes. I didn't find any fuses. I've checked every single room in the map. I didn't see any scalpels. So I don't know what to do. <laughs> like the pri- And you know what's gonna happen? It's like once we find those items, you're just gonna put them in the room and then you're gonna get like a pretty cool animation. Like I trust the animation is gonna be cool. And that's it. It's not worth it. Like I did, I genuinely think we have to, I'm, I'm gonna leave now. I don't think this is fun in any way. And I would love to see this change. Like this is- potentially the worst puzzle i've ever seen in any ghost hunting game ever this is so bad so yeah i'm not gonna finish that one i'm really curious to see um to see cyclone street house because cyclone street house apparently so yeah we did everything except the final exorcism so we still got five thousand. but yeah i genuinely have no idea how this came to pass like this is have it like i get it if you have a team of four people it's gonna be way faster but it doesn't make it any more fun it's still incredibly boring so i would love to see this made so much better maybe add items that can detect these sp special items or something but like why is it just literally looking for four things in an entire giant asylum it just doesn't seem fun to me at all but anyway i want to check out psycho street house now and see what what's new over there oh wait a minute okay before we go to cyclone uh, this is the penthouse, which is like a safe house, and apparently there's a puzzle here. Oh boy, more reading. I can feel your fear as you find a note, found a note like this in your house. I don't want to scare you. I'd be scared if I found a random note in my house too. There's nothing to worry about. I was the owner of this house. Actually, I'm a ghost too. Also, Evil Phoenix, thank you for the gift subs. What the hell are you guys doing? I was the owner of this house. Actually, I'm a ghost too, but not the kind you hunt. At least I hope so. In fact, even while you're reading this note, I am right next to you. Calm down. Don't be scared. I mean no harm. Actually, I seek some help. I feel like you can help me because of your business. Tasu, thank you for the 25 gifts. What the hell are you guys doing? Holy shit. Many people like you came and tried to live in this house before, but they couldn't get used to me. But you are different because of the work you do. I don't think you will have such a problem. At least I hope so. I can share my house with you, I guess. I don't know if you can really help me. I really don't know if I can trust you. We need to test this. If you want to know me, if you want to help me, if you believe in yourself, let's start with a riddle. And Karen, thank you for the tank yourselves. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> However, if you can solve this riddle, you may not have a chance for the puzzles you will encounter in the future. Let me let me guess. These puzzles are, are going to involve a lot of walking around and finding specific items in the corner of every single map. Oh boy, here we go. It encompasses all... It encompasses all. Animals, people, plants, universe. It rots flesh, bends, bends metal, crushes rocks to dust overall. Evil Phoenix, thank you for the five again. What the hell? I know you have many questions on your mind. If you want answers, you have to prove that you can help me. When you find the answer, go to the empty wall next to the mirror in the bathroom and say it. Be sure that you will get to know me better. Okay. It encompasses all. 
animals, people, plants, universe. It rots flesh, bends metal, crushes rocks to dust overall. Is it time or water? Crushing water to dust could be water or crushing uh, rocks to dust could be in in water. But it and like it rots flesh. Bending metal. I, I it, it might be time. Let's see if it's time. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> there's two bathrooms. I see. I see. I see. Um, time. That's pretty sick. See, that's what I want more. Why isn't the puzzle for getting rid of the ghost something like this instead? That's way more fun than fucking looking for items in a giant hay bale. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I knew I wasn't wrong about my feelings. We really can do this. Don't be afraid that there's a secret room in your house. I can hide things that I don't want to be seen with riddles. I learned this thanks to a book I found in Bedlam. The reason I need your help is about this. I want you to bring this book to me. Grace, thank you for the thousand. Thank you, guys. I can hear you say, book? What book? You'll hear soon. The book is waiting to be found, hidden in there. All I know, that it's somewhere. It's there somewhere. Oh, boy. We're mo more walking around and finding items. Oh, no. Here we go. Down, to, down a hill again. Since I'm bound to this house, I cannot go and search by myself. But we can find it with the clues you'll bring. I can see him again, thanks to you. I know you have many questions. We will find the answers together, but I cannot share any more details with you for now. At least until you get there. I believe you will help me, Susie. Okay. Tasso, they give you the 5,000 bees. <laughs> Holy moly. Okay. So we have to find a book. Wait a minute. I cannot, but we can find it with the clues you'll bring. I can see him again, thanks to you. So we have to go to... The Bedlam map again to look for a book or what now? Is that what we got to do? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's what we got to do. Also, what the hell is going on in this room? There's a lot of blood on the ground here. Um, this is a spooky place. There's another note. There's another note in the kitchen. I already read this note. This note led us to that note. Or is there a note on the... T oh, wait, you're right. Wait a minute. There's another note. Now you're ready, ready to go there. Puzzles you have to solve, dangerous ghosts, and more. It won't be easy. If you can, if we can, that's something we'll talk about later. Bedlam is not a place. Bedlam is not a place how you think it is. Not an ordinary asylum, but a corrupt place where people are tortured by sick-minded doctors and their assist assistants. Go uh, back in line. Behind all the other games that have done this exact same... Tro it's fine. This trope is fine. It's, like, extremely overused, but it's fine. Um, uh, where evil is done under the name of good. That's why you will encounter a lot of aggressive ghosts there. This will be deadly, but I believe you can do it. It's your job after all, right? The place where they took me, took me for the first time was a day I will never forget. They came to my cell and closed my eyes first. I'm sure they did not want me to see where we were going. I can't rightly say how many floors they took me up. I was unconscious, but I could hear their conversations. Couldn't see them, but hear them. Couldn't see them, but hear them. It didn't take me long to realize that their voices were echoing. I was in a place like a toilet. At least that's how I felt. The smell confirmed my feeling. After some walking, we suddenly stopped. I didn't know what was going to happen. They leaned me against the wall. They shouted, mirror, I see. And I still remember that wind blowing in my face. Even if I couldn't see it, I'm sure that place was changing. There's definitely something hidden in that place. I don't know what it is, but we can't start there. But we can't start there. After we solve the mystery of this place, we should decide what to do. Okay, well, this is so interesting. Now I quickly want to see it. So let's just... I said we were gonna go to Cyclone Street House, but apparently the sledgehammer is only related to a to a, like an optional objective anyway. It's not something really special. I wanna quickly check this out. This sounds really cool. Over here? This gotta be it, right? Mirror. That is insanely cool! <laughs> That is... Have mercy? That is so cool. Okay, we get a key. Wait a minute. And then there's a creepy room where, where they probably experimented on Susie. Have mercy. Okay, so what do we do with that key now? Hmm. Do we got... Is there any room locked in this map? Maybe there's a room locked in this map that we gotta find? 
You go back and ask Susie what to do? I guess we go back. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, there's a new note in the secret room. Okay, so we went back to the penthouse because we didn't... Wait! No! I picked it up and it... Wait, what? Can I read it in my notes? Okay, I can read it in my notes. Thank you. Holy shit. I was... <laughs> okay, here we go. This key! Yes, this key looks familiar. I've seen it before. This is the key that Dr. Thompson carried with himself all the time. I'm pretty sure it opens a door in the canteen. He would pass us by while we were eating and enters the room here, there with this key. We were watching him in curiosity. However, they must have realized that because they sealed the canteen door with a rope. From then, we started to eat in ourselves. Firstly, you have to cut that rope. You have a knife, don't you? Don't tell me you work at a job like this and your company didn't give you a knife. Anyway, if you don't have one, I'm sure you can find one inside the hospital or somewhere nearby. Okay, there are things I need to tell you about myself, but first you have to go to that room. Let's find out what's in there. I'll be waiting for you here after you open the room and investigate. Okay, like this is really fun. I like this. This is an interesting story that they've added. Uh, it's just like the, the quest that you need to do. But this is like a one-time thing. It's such a shame that the one-time quest is so much more interesting than the quest you have to do over and over and over again every single time you want to play on the hospital. But regardless, uh, we have to find a knife probably in the shed. Let's see. There it is. See? Knife in the shed. Okay. Now we go. There's the canteen. Now we can cut the rope. Which sounds like a saw. And then we have this room. There we go. This is cool. The Dark King Immortal... Proud, proud, what, or something, high in the sky, from tears he is born, the ghost silent rye, breaking, prowling probably, breaking some blah 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 blah, I can't read the rest, is there anything in here, there's lots of confidential information, this is really cool, I like this puzzle. Uh, but now let me guess we probably just have to leave and then read another note in the penthouse I think that's what we gotta do. We have this. I'm taking a screenshot of this Although I can't read the bottom text here. Why don't we just clean it, huh? And then let's just go ask Susie about this Another note here we go. I'm actually surprised that you tried to help me so much Even though I didn't tell you anything I think I should have been more open and honest with you But you can't decide whether you can eat it or not without seeing the inside. Can you? Actually everything didn't start with bedlam Everything started with my marriage to that man with that man who constantly beat me constantly insulted and cheated on me What? The best but saddest thing that ever happened to me was getting pregnant by this man. We had a chi child named Elena. I thought everything would be good. Thanks to my little Elena, but everything started to get worse. Everyone I asked for help turned their back on me, including my own family. Everything got more complicated as my Elena got older. He tre treated my Elena as he treated me. He was beating and insulting her. He hated us so much that he wouldn't even protect or care about his own daughter. How can you leave a small child alone in the bathroom? Oh no, oh, my Elena drowned in the bathtub, what the fuck? The worst part is that he acted as if nothing had happened, treated me like I'm sick and had me locked up in bedlam, maybe look like a lunatic, even if my family, even my family did not stand by me. That's why I'm asking for your help. Maybe this sounds wrong to you, but I can see my Elena again. I don't think about who is guilty and who is innocent. All I want to see all I want is to see my Elena. Even if it's just one last time, now that you know the truth about me, we can get back to work. Okay. <laughs> that writing you see on the wall is like an incomplete text, but wait a minute. I remember hearing that. Yes, I definitely remember it very well. The employees in Bedlam were talking about such a riddle among themselves and were trying to solve it. As far as I can remember, the riddle was like, here we go. Oh, it's what? Wait, that definitely did not say watching. The Dark King, immortal, watching high in the sky. From tears he is born, the ghost silent rye. Breaking the chains of time, unlocking attorney's door, 
In mirrored eyes, the dreamers dance forevermore. I don't know the answer to. I guess we won't be able to continue without solving this puzzle. I trust you. With you, I will get to see my Elena again. You are my only hope. Okay, let's see. Prowling is also like watching. True. Okay, the Dark King, immortal, watching high in the sky. From tears he spawn, the ghost silent ride. Like a cloud, breaking the chains of time. That doesn't sound like a cloud. Unlocking eternity's door. In mirrored eyes... The is there just like one word that's the answer to this? This doesn't seem as clear as, yeah, I mean, God or d devil or something. Uh, I guess devil, <laughs> death, Satan, something like that, I guess. In mirrored eyes, I guess. But where do we, where do we use this? What do we do with this? Sad life story. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry that happened to you or I'm... <laughs> like congratulations or i'm sorry that happened to you or whatever <laughs> what the fuck dude? what does this mean in mirrored eyes the dreamers dance forevermore maybe it's death death could be it but like what do we even do with that information like let's say we think it's death what not what now do we go to bedlam into the secret room and we say death to the to the Riddle, probably? I guess. Okay, let's see. Death. Oh, uh, we did it? What the fuck? Oh my god! Yup, alright, it's death. <laughs> nice, that's cool. This is so awesome. Like, this is what I'm saying. This is why I did the whole, like, monologue about you need to criticize the things you like. This is awesome. And I know I was very critical about that puzzle with like the finding the items. I still am. I still think that's terrible. This is awesome, but something, parts of a game being awesome doesn't forgive the other parts for being boring and annoying. Like what you want is to have a game where all of the parts are awesome. So you gotta praise the parts that are cool and give criticism to the parts that are annoying and boring so then you get like a you get a better game as a result because this is awesome this is very interesting if you found this place you know what you are looking for i hope you are one of us go to our secret place and say the word cloud dr thompson cloud go to our secret place and say the word cloud health report patient name susie Okay, diagnosis schizophrenia and personality disorder. Mm -hmm. The patient's health status was examined in detail and the information present presented below was obtained from the patient's clinical assessment. Summary, Susie is a patient who has been diagnosed with schizophrenia, significant disturbances in her perception of reality, hallucinations and thought disorders were observed. This report details Susie's symptoms, treatment and planning. Diagnosis. And symptoms. As a result of Susie's extensive evaluation, she was diagnosed with schizophrenia. The patient experienced oscillations between reality and, ma and imagination, confusion and hallucinations at regular intervals. This situation causes significant losses, losses in Susie's daily life. Susie's treatment plan includes medication, individual and group combination treatments. It is aimed at managing and improving the symptoms shown by Susie. Regular use of appropriate medications and controlling the side effects are required. Individual therapy sessions focus on Susie's ability to manage her thoughts, maintain connection with reality, and support and positively influence emotional well-being as well as physical well-being. Therapy provides cognitive and emotional support by working through the patient's past traumas, difficulties, and emotional processes. Support group therapy allows Susie to interact with other patients who show similar symptoms in a si similar situation. These group therapy sessions aim for patients to share their experiences, get support, and gain more, wellness, uh, more awareness about their illness. Dr. Thompson. Okay. Um, I see. So now we go back to Susie once again. Is she even going to have more to say? Seems like there is more to say. Let's see. I've been sleeping on the edge all the time since I've been there. I was waking up to even the slightest sound. I heard their whispers at midnight when everyone was asleep. I think they waited for everyone to sleep. I could hear the footsteps of doctors approaching my cell. At first, 
I thought they were coming for me. I was scared, but they walked past my cell and moved on. They stopped after a while. I heard the door of another cell opening. The cell door was not in the same line with mine. The sounds were coming from further away. After some time, I heard the word you saw in that note, Cloud. I had the same feeling I had in the toilet. There was a difference, as if somewhere something had changed. The reason I'm telling you about this memory may be that this is the place they refer to as a secret place. It's worth a try. First, you have to find the cell keys that Dr. Thompson was carrying. Oh, I know where these are. I saw these on my first playthrough in that map. Or you can't get into those cells. Try searching the keys in Dr. Thompson's room. After you find the keys, go down to where the cells are and find the right cell. Or find the right cell. You might need to try all the cells one by one. After you got inside, try saying the word a few times. I don't know which one is the right cell. Maybe you can find a sign or a mark telling which one it is. Go and find that book. I can't wait any longer. All right, here we go again. Over here were keys, right? On his desk were keys. Yes, there you go. I knew it. Okay. So those keys, and now we need to go to the basement. All right, so now we can open all these cell doors. I see. Is there some marking? Cloud. Cloud? Martin? Death? Wait a minute. This might be it. Cloud? Cloud. Okay, it's not this one. This is probably Susie's cell, if I were to guess. Cloud. Yeah, this one looks completely empty. Let's, let's just open all the cells real quick and see if there's anything in one of these. This one is all bloody. I can't even open this one. What? Okay, cloud, cloud. All right, nothing in there. Cloud. All right, I think it's that one. Holy dude, <laughs> that's so cool. All right. And then we need to fill in the password. What? Oh no. What is this? It's moon and sun? Oh, wait a minute. Yes, there's something here. Okay, maybe we can solve it here. The sun turns darkness into light. The sun goes down, the moon comes out. Okay, here we go. The sun is jealous of the moon. It has to walk for the mornings. The sun comes out. It illuminates the darkness. Okay, there is how many? One, two, three, four, five things. And there is four sentences. Okay. The sun turns darkness into light. So first one is going to be sun, right? The sun turns darkness into light. The sun goes down, the moon comes out. So second one is moon. Then the sun is jealous of the moon. It has to wait for the morning. So then it has to wait, which means nothing, probably. And then the sun comes out and it illuminates the darkness. Wait. How is this not correct? Maybe I guess maybe moon for Oh I see. It starts with I guess there is no blank you don't use the blank. I thought blank represented darkness. Okay. So yeah. The sun so the sun comes out illuminating the moon. So moon first, then sun. Then the sun goes down, the moon comes out, moon. Then the sun has to wait for the moon. So another moon. And then it yeah. Wait, but there were five, right? Whatever. It was what we just had. Now we have a key. Anyway, it's, there's literally only like a few options because there's only two two inputs. It's only sun and moon. I don't know why they even have the dark option then. Uh, regardless, now we have a key. So we're going to have to go back to Susie and then they're going to be like, uh, oh, you got a key. Now you need to go here. Blah, 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 blah. The book. Wait, can I get the book out of there too? It, it didn't say, give me a pickup, uh, right? Can I grab the book? I cannot grab the book. No, these are just for decoration. There's another note. I think we've reached the end. I can feel it. This is our last obstacle. I will meet her again. There's one last thing left for us. I know this key. When they took the book away from me, they hid it somewhere using this key. That place is in the shed outside the building. The trap doors, I see. And I know that this key will work when you get there. I have no idea what awaits you inside. All I know is that the book is in there. I am running out of patience. Bring me that book now. Okay, here we go. This right here. These doors. Oh boy. 
Hi there. Uh, what are you doing down here? There's a note. Susie was a young person who had not... What is it? What's blinking over there? Who had not been able to communicate successfully with her environment since her youth and had harmed the people with whom she communicated. Having problems with her family, Susie met Martin at a young age and they decided to get married. Oh, wait, so the one that has Mar had the one cell that had Martin, uh, like plas or like in bloody text on the wall was probably Susie's cell. Um, and Martin wanted to be, wait. Uh, and they decided to get Mary married. Susie and Martin wanted to be parents at a young age, but could not have children due to Susie's illness. Susie does not have any children, according to the records, according to the records, but Susie has convinced herself that she has a daughter, and her name is Elena. He was telling his wife that he had seen his daughter and even talked to her. Susie's husband, Martin, brought Susie to Bedlam for treatment to help her. My first impression of Susie was that she had moderately calm a moderately calm personality. She didn't seem to have any issues, or so it seems. Susie's husband was also coming to visit her often. One day, I saw Susie in her cell, interested in a book. Actually, that is normal, isn't it? But when I saw the book, I had a strange feeling. The book was pulling me in, as if it were talking to me. When she noticed that I was looking at her, she quickly hit the book and averted her eyes from me. After all, we are in a mental hospital, right? I thought it was per perfectly normal. Susie started to take on different attitudes day by day. She wouldn't eat anything, and we noticed her moderate demeanor was starting to become more and more aggressive. All she cared about was that book. Susie and her husband seemed to be on good terms. He used to visit Susie often, but when he came to visit, Susie didn't want to see him anymore. She was completely enclosed. As the days passed like this, one night we heard loud screeches coming from Susie's cell. When we got there, we could clearly see Susie's veins swollen almost to bursting, as if she had no skin. Her fever was over 40, and she was muttering a single word, Elena. When I went to check on Susie again the next day, I was very surprised because she got better. The introverted state was gone. She seemed like a happy person. She didn't seem to have a problem, or so I thought. Everything was going well in Susie's process. She reestablished communication with her husband, ate her meals, and seemed happy. It was as if she had never experienced that night. This was very strange, but, did, but I did not take any action, thinking that she was okay. When her husband came to see Susie, he requested something after meeting with her. Can I take her home for one night? It would be good for Susie. It will help the healing process, and Susie wants it too, he said. Since Susie's progress was going well and I thought it would be good for her, I allowed her to stay in her house for that night. I think this was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. The night Susie wasn't in Bedlam, I had a gnawing feeling. I took the initiative and went to check her cell. She had a very clean cell. Everything was tidy, not messy. I said, no need to worry, and decided to leave the room. Just as I was about to leave the room and... About to leave the room and close the door, I saw a red stain on the wall at the corner of the bed. As if it had been covered with the bed, I had to satisfy my curiosity. I couldn't believe what I saw when I pulled the bed aside. There were strange symbols written in blood on the wall, and the middle of those symbols, death and Martin, were written side by side. That's what we saw as well. We immediately went to Susie's house with the police, but it was too late for every for any for everything. When we got home, we could hear Susie crying and muttering even through the front door. We went in. Susie had drawn the same symbols she had drawn in her cell, in blood in her room. Her husband was lying on the floor, covered in blood. There was a writing, Elena, on the wall. Susie was muttering something like, He tricked me. Elena won't come back. Next to Susie was that book that had caught my attention earlier. The book was open as if she was trying to perform a ritual using the book. As we approached Susie, Susie shouted, I don't want to go, but her voice was different than usual. It was deeper, as if it didn't belong to her. She said once more, I don't want to go, and fainted. So that's why there's a lot of blood in that room, because it was... Uh, she did some... Uh, she did some stuff in there. We locked Susie back in her cell in Bedlam. Will she go to prison or stay in Bedlam? While waiting for her, the decision, Susie's execution was ordered. And until the time of her execution, it was deemed appropriate that she remain in Bedlam as she was mentally ill. What? Isn't that, like, 
against the uh, against uh, capital punishment rules in the U.S. I don't know if this is the U.S. Maybe it's not. Everything got even worse after that. After this incident, yeah, there's a lot of reading. Holy shit! <laughs> Susie never once asked about her husband or home. There was only one thing she asked for and wanted, and that was the book. She wasn't even eating. She was very aggressive. We never gave that book to her. She continued to hurt and insult people. She has turned into someone whose condition has deteriorated and is now trying to harm everyone, including us. This really wasn't the Susie we knew when, we, when she first came. She was a different person. When the day of the execution came, even Susie's words at the execution were about the book. She wanted the book laughing and angrily. Her last words were, you think everything is over, but this is just the beginning until that book is in my hands. We believed everything would go back to normal after Susie's execution, but it didn't turn out as we expected. Inexplicable events began to happen in Bedlam. Patients died, doctors died, and many other bad things took place. We decided to seek help from the church because we started to believe that Susie didn't really go. The church also confirmed us. They imprisoned Susie in her own house and hid the book. And they told us precisely, do not take this book out of here or let it fall in Susie's hands again. If this book falls into the hands of Susie, even we don't know what will happen. Even though the book was hidden, I still had a bad feeling because the book was still within reach of any human being. Even if it was difficult, so I did some research. There's no way to destroy the book, but one can hide it. It can be hidden in another dimension. I cannot do this. The book does not want to be hidden. It wants to be found and used. It wants to control people and play with their minds. I do not have the will to resist that book. If you can hide it, take the book and place it on the statue located at the entrance of the hospital outside. Whatever happens, don't let Susie or anyone else get this book. Holy shit, that may be the single longest note I have ever read in a game ever. Look at this. <laughs> That's insane. Multiple endings. If you if you take the book to the to the apartment, you probably get killed. I'm I'm gonna bring it to the I'm gonna bring it to the statue. Let's see. I'm not gonna go for the check no, I'm not gonna go back. We're gonna die. If I go back, it's gonna be a disaster. Let's see. So we place it here. What's going to happen? Oh. What the hell? Oh my god. Damn, dude. <laughs> Why didn't you just do that? Why did I have to do that? That's awesome. I hope it was correct. Maybe I've been lied to. Now I need to go back to Susie. I want to see. I got an achievement for that, by the way. Complete Susie's story. Um, is there any more achievements? There is... No. There is, there's no other achievements I haven't gotten except reviving my friend with a tarot card. Um... Or no interesting achievements. Let's go back and check if Susie is going to be real angry. <laughs> Susie, I'm back. Hello there. I may have hidden your book in another dimension, but it was for the greater good. Uh-oh. So it wasn't there. I truly believed it was there. If it's not there, I really don't know where to look. You can't help me anymore. I am all alone now. I can't ask for more. Farewell. It, I'm assuming you would have, like, canonically died if you brought the book back. Like, I feel like there must be an ending where you bring the book over here and then something really bad happens. But, yeah, that was really cool. I think, actually, that's where we're going to call it for Demonologist. So, yeah, I like this game. I think it has some really cool ideas. Obviously, we only played on Bedlam in this episode. Uh, if you want to see me play all of the other maps, you can watch the previous ones. We checked out the, the new Japanese map, which the Japanese map I like way more because that has, like, a bunch of those like interactive secrets because we didn't have any of those like the interactive secrets where like stuff like this if you go to um this map for example uh you can go to the piano or like give me beer and then beer will appear or you can do piano 
and then it starts playing music and stuff like that but this is obviously chill but then if you're in a map there's gonna be like a creepy ghost that like jump scares you or something and i was really hoping for that stuff in the new map as well so it's a bit of a shame to not see that in the in the in the new map but then they made up for it with this really cool Susie story i really like the Susie story that was a really fun uh like uh little side quests with i mean it was a little bit tedious going back and forth between the map so many times uh but it was interesting now what i really hope to see is obviously as i've said many times during this video i really hate the exorcism mechanics on this new map it's maybe the most boring thing i've ever seen in a ghost hunting game all you have to do is uh fi find out what the ghost is then walk around the entire map until you find the painting painting then do this god awful like shove shove puzzle puzzle until you solve it then uh use the pocket watch to like flip an image 300 times until you find the right orientation then go through read what you need go find fuses tape and a scalpel all around the map and it's like just constant like looking around walking doing absolutely nothing like if they can just improve that type of stuff it will be so much better the map is just too big for a stupid side quest like that uh but yeah maybe that's just me maybe other people love it maybe maybe when people play sunny meadows and phasmo they they look for the bone every single time they they find what the ghost is and then they spend the, the next 30 minutes looking in every room finding the bone i don't do that because i find that gameplay stupid or maybe maybe that's because i'm a weird person maybe everyone loves just walking around doing absolutely literally nothing i don't know but anyway uh, I would love to see that improved, but as I said, I like this game overall, and I think it has some cool ideas, and that Susie quest was really freaking good. That gets a big props from me. Uh, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely gamers here in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv slash so Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Look at the kitty. The kitty. So every time the kitty eats, by the way, it's get, it gets fatter and fatter. So if you stay in this room for a while, you have a very chunky cat. But anyway, bye guys. Have a good one.